I am a royalist through and through, and Aubrey? I prefer Harry. Loves Prince Harry. So, we decided to throw a royal wedding party. Can I please put it on my head? I think it would look beautiful on you. Now, what's the rumor on Kate? Well, I heard today that she is refusing to wear a tiara, and this has Prince Charles and Camilla up in arms. Uh-oh, Sarah, maybe you'll have to step in. Oh. Did I say that? Did that bleed through? <laughs> what Sorry. were you saying there, Eckford? Uh, I may have said a little swearsy because I was talking about Sarah's reaction to Kate not wearing a tiara. And I'm wearing a fascinator in case you haven't noticed. But of course, Kate did wear a tiara. Sarah and Aubrey are joining us. They are the wedding bells, the bride Ladies. and the bridesmaid. How are you both? How are you? We're good. So, we're great. Sarah, we're getting fairly close to your actual wedding day. Yeah, seven weeks, June 28th. <laughs> are you excited? No. Eh, yeah, whatever. Now you two, uh, first of all, we are wearing fascinators on our head in honor of the royals. You That's two cool. actually went off to Jolly Old and saw the wedding firsthand. How was it? it it was amazing, <laughs> and I wasn't amazing. as See, excited. I was going to ask whose whose idea this was in the first place, but I think I know. It was her idea, and it was her idea to go down to Buckingham Palace at one in the morning. One in the morning, which we did, and I'm glad we did it. It was a crazy experience, and it was it was magical. Okay. I was a little more skeptical now, in the beginning, and when they went by in the carriage, I was oh, like, oh. We've had the slightly yes. jaded view of it, Sarah. How was the royal wedding? It was amazing. <laughs> Is this you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. She yeah. looks like the queen. Look at her scarf. That's me all bundled up. And then these people, we met lots of really interesting people. That was what the fun of it was all these people around us and they had a queen mask. And so I put it on and went to sleep. There you go. And no. there's sleepy hair. I am sleeping. Now you guys went at one in the morning. So yeah. you had a little nap time. And what Not was really. it like mm -hmm. for you? <laughs> Not guys? really, no. I slept at eight in the morning. Oh, I know. What minutes. was it like for you guys when everything actually started? Well, one of the things that I, I mean, this may be boring, but what I found fascinating was there was a schedule and they kept it. Like it was so respectful oh, for everyone there. The royals, precise. what? They are precise. Very yeah, precise. It's, at 10.40, yeah. the queen was supposed to drive out and at 10.40, 10 40, she click, drove out. she drove out. And yeah. 10, 12, 15, they're supposed to come back. They were there. That was cool. I was impressed with that. So yeah. uh, Sarah, yeah. how, how much can we learn from that for people that are planning their weddings yeah. now? If you have well, a schedule. Do you know though that most people who are trying to adhere to a schedule, also don't have a bazillion people helping them. Right. This and is 70 true. million pounds. That's true. <laughs> but I think it is respectful to, for the people who have showed up and, and want to see you to show up on time. And so I'm hoping I Now, Sarah, on time. seeing the royal wedding, seeing Kate's dress, I mean, every bride has to make decisions well in advance. Did this change your mind on anything? Are you freaking, yes, we're getting a you yes from Aubrey. You like about your covered shoulders oh, thing, the covered oh, shoulders. No, because I have my dress is strapless and I really wanted straps. And so I've been going back and forth with adding something. And then, like, of course, I looked at her and I was like, well, now I need straps again <laughs> <laughs> but no no I oh, I think right after 20 minutes after it was all over we were standing in the crowd you're like do you think that my thing that I'm gonna put on my shoulders is gonna be enough <laughs> I was like, what? but I did say I did say I'm happy with my dress like I'm not getting married at Westminster Cathedral so my dress Abby. is very so Abby 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 Cathedral <laughs> it gets confusing it's been a long week uh, it was impeccable can we agree on that how much she was, yeah, she she was, was, she was amazing 240,000 pounds apparently it's like, not worth anything. Drop in the bucket. I know. This, oh, here we go. It's not worth any. Yeah, yeah. It's not. It can't be worth it. Anyway, mm -hmm. never mind. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I said this We're gonna start the like argument. Like a car, it depreciates. Uh, <laughs> how much fun have you guys had in the last? How long you've been shooting the wedding bells a now? Year? Has it been a solid a year, year, now? year? Yeah. How much fun have you had, it's Sarah, so going fun. through this? Yeah, so much fun, and it's we definitely learned so much about each other. <laughs> We went to therapy the other day. Did you? Yeah. As part it's, of the as, as part of the so. show. Like, huh? Aubrey is part of the show, or because you needed it. <laughs> well, we learned. I, I realized we needed it after the first three questions. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's going to be a segment. We went to couples counseling. But planning a wedding with a friend can be very stressful yeah. because the being the bride is the most stressful thing. And being the friend, you want to do everything right the way she wants it, and sometimes it's impossible. Yeah. And sometimes, sometimes you want it to be about you, just for a second, just for a second. But You're it's like, not. No. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not, and it never will be. Aubrey's very good at turning situations back on herself. I'm like, this day's mine. Okay, <laughs> now we have the fascinators on right now, yeah. but are you really having these at your yeah. wedding? These are my bridesmaids. Was this before the royal wedding or after? Before. 
I'm, I'm my, my family's British, and I one of the things I wanted in my wedding was everybody has to come wearing a hat or fascinator. And we have to talk about what's on so, your wrist because these are beautiful. We've got teacup bracelets from Stay Merry Gold on Etsy, and I have um, I have teacups decorating my wedding. So these are my bridesmaids bracelets and my bridesmaids earrings from Jessica Jensen and my bridesmaids fascinators. Uh, and how much have you learned about this process? I mean, with all the places that you guys go, and and even the turn you took as wedding planners as well. I mean, uh, the stuff that's out there and the creative ways that people can celebrate weddings. I mean, it's it's amazing to me now. It's mind-boggling. Mind like it just you can She was like this when she wasn't a bride though. She's been she was born a bridesmaid. She was Correct. born a wedding planner. <laughs> How many this, this is, is what number for bridesmaids for you now? This I'm is I'm 8. I'm 8. Yeah, 8. That's eight. crazy. Yeah. You guys yeah. have been bridesmaids. I have a big family. <laughs> people like me. <laughs> people, okay, so people we want to talk about check. the yeah. movie Bridesmaids, Bridesmaids. Yeah. because yeah. Right. it's getting fantastic reviews. The funniest cast ever. Now we have 25 double passes to give away. Yeah, 25 Tell us double about passes. the movie first of all. I, 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 as a guy, I don't really know a lot about. It's about bridesmaids. About it's a, it's a, all you need I think to know. it's a female version almost of The Hangover. I think, I so think too. it's <laughs> the girls go away on a stag at a bachelorette party. And so what we're getting people to do to win these 25 double passes is to tell us on Facebook why they had a great bachelorette party or their horror bridesmaids story, whatever Sarah happens dress, to them. anything, yeah. My wife will not be happy that I'm telling the story, but uh, we both went down to Mexico for uh, her stag at and then my stag, different times. When I picked her up, we had a rule, like, you don't have to phone me when you're in a stag at, do your thing. When I picked her up from the airport, not a word of lie, she got brought out in a wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> and when I said, how did it go, honey? She said, it was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> like, she was destroyed. Well, she could win tickets. Sorry, baby, I know you could win tickets. Now, all now. you have to do is go to Facebook, uh, find the Shaw Wedding Bells. We've got it on for the screen for you right now. And we have 25 double passes, courtesy of Wedding Bells, to give away to next Wednesday yep. of the screening. All you have to do is write a story about your nightmare, your best moment. Doesn't matter. Make it funny. On go the to their Facebook site. page for more details. And the Wedding Bells, of course, airs on the Express every Thursday, 3 p.m., 6 p.m., and 10 p.m. Well worth Late Ladies, you two are awesome. Pip. Love your actions. <laughs> and if we do not see you before uh, your wedding, congratulations. Thank you. Have a lovely, Off to lovely Italy. Time. Oh, I'm going to cry. Aww. Aww. There we go. Here we go. I'm Aww. jet lagged. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the emotion that I bring out of you has to be jet lag. No, Can no, it just be genuine? Can it just be genuine? You can can it just be genuine? Can we take a break and when we return?